Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I had a comment uh, here about using kind of the glowy effect that you see standard underneath units um, inside of RTSs when you select them, rather than the red coloring. So what we can do is uh, go ahead and make that with Unity's built-in particle system. Now you can do this with either the particles or your own mesh or whatever, but I'm going to show particles. So first thing I'm going to do is hide my floor, select a unit, go to game object, create other particle system, and I'm just going to zero this guy out to go underneath this guy. And instead of the shape of the particle system, I want to change the emit from to base shell. That will emit around the sphere of the bottom. And I'm also just going to grab this handle in the middle and drag down the uh, start speed of the particles. So a little bit lower. And I'm going to change the lifespan from 5 to just uh, 1. And we never really want to go more than like 25 particles. So uh, now that we have our basic particle system here, um, we can extend out this if we want it to be more outwards. Now that we have our base particle uh, set up here, I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it Glow. And I'm going to drag it into just anywhere. Uh, right now, the assets folder. You probably want to be a little bit more clean about this. In fact, I'll be more clean about this. I'm going to create a new folder called resources. And I'm going to drag it in there. And then inside of the resources, I'm going to create a folder called prefabs. And I'm going to drag it into there. So now I have my glowing effect as a prefab. Let's create a script to make it rotate around in circles. So we'll create a C sharp script. I'm just going to call it Rotator. Open this up. Uh, get my setup going here. I should probably set up my uh, script to do this by default. Okay, so what we want to do is just open up a float speed, uh, a public float speed, that is, public float speed, set it to like 0.1f. And then inside of the update, I'm going to do transform.euler angles plus equals um, new vector 3, 0 on the x, speed for the y, and 0 on uh, the um, z. Now that I have that done, let's jump back. And in our glow here, let's drag our rotator script onto our glow so that it has the script. And let's um, apply that to the prefab by clicking apply at the top. So now that's applied to the prefab, I can actually go ahead and delete the glow and jump over into my unit script. The first thing I want to do is open up a public variable. Let's do public game object and that game object is going to be the glow that we're selecting for our, our glow for selection. So let's just call it uh, selection glow and set it equal to null. So I'm just going to copy that name and jump down here. Remember where we had if selected do this? Well what we can do is go ahead and uh, change out the coloring uh, that we had in place. And uh, before I do that, let's jump back up here where we have the glow selection and let's do a private game object and let's just say glow is equal to null because uh, we need to know if the object's been instantiated or not. So if selected, we're going to say uh, change this to say if selected and glow is equal to null. What we're going to do is create that glow. We're going to say glow is equal to uh, game object type casting game object dot in oops um, game object dot instantiate and what we're going to instantiate is this variable right here selection glow. So let's paste selection glow in there. We're going to offset it. If we instantiate it at center, it's going to be in the center of our um, of our character. Uh, actually, let's just instantiate it first. So let's just do instantiate selection glow. Then we're going to say glow dot uh, parent or transform dot parent 
is equal to transform. So its parent is going to be this unit. So the transform will uh, is now its parent. After we've done that, we want to offset it by one. We want to say glow dot transform um, dot position local position is equal to new vector three zero um, zero zero or zero negative one and zero because our capsules have a height of negative one you may want to find the mesh's uh, height which we can actually do here we can just say renderer dot um, we don't want to do renderer we want to get component we want to get uh, mesh mesh filter dot uh, mesh dot um, let's see bounds dot extends y that was kind of a mouthful so basically we're getting the mesh uh, that's attached to this object we're getting its bounds and its extends which is how far it extends from the center and we want to get the y so this should put it at the base of your object no matter what mesh you're using and this may be if you have your pivot point at the bottom of the mesh um, or anywhere other than center this may not work and you may have to apply offset math but this will work in most cases so now we've set our glow we've set its position and uh, we need to destroy it whenever it's done so if if uh, we're not selected so else if not selected and glow is not equal to null what we want to do is go ahead and say game object dot destroy glow and we're going to destroy the glow and then we're going to set glow equal to null so we're going to destroy the glow set it to null uh, if we're not selected anymore so let's go ahead and test this out see what happens so I'm going to turn back on my floor and let's hit play I'm going to select this unit and we are going to get an error fantastic and that is because we have not assigned our uh, our game object so if we select the unit um, let's select all of the units now so I've selected all of the units you can see that there's a selection glow here inside of their unit script in the, in the inspector what we can do is go to prefabs and drag our glow into that slot so now they all have glow as their uh, selection glow let's hit play Let's highlight a character and you can see that he starts glowing. Now what we did is rather than uh, subtracting the Y we added the Y and the glow wound up at his head. This is no good. You can also see that it gets uh, becomes a child and let's try to select off and you see it gets destroyed. So I want to make a few changes to finalize this. The first thing I want to do is change my glow color. Let's make it blue so that we can see it over this white. Uh, now what I want to do is go back into the unit class and over here where we did selected or selected and glow is equal to null let's change this to say uh, where we have new vector 3 let's do negative get component mesh filter mesh bounds extends y now if we jump to back after saving hit play select our character you can see now he's glowing from the bottom and it should be rotating let's see if it's rotating yeah, it's rotating. It's rotating fairly slowly. Let's increase that glow rotation. So click on our prefab glow. Go down to the script and let's make it like 0.5. See what that does. Um, let's hit play. Select our character. Now it's spinning. So let's try to select more than one character. Let's select five characters. So now we have this selection glow going on below our characters. Um, and that should be enough to get you started and going. I can click on a single guy and he will start to glow. So uh, that should get enough, uh, get you up and off your, uh, up and on your feet to uh, get started, make some cool glows and do some cool stuff. And you may want to offset it uh, a little bit higher than the floor so it doesn't look like uh, it's appearing inside of the floor. But that's your preference. So I hope this helped out. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, Please uh, comment and let me know because I I I, I like to help out so uh, and it helps others if you have questions so uh, send me a comment or, or uh, 
or mail and I will be sure to answer any questions you have and if you want to continue on this series or you have a question um, just uh, subscribe I guess or see or you can follow the playlist that doesn't matter to me <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go ahead and quit. I hope this helped out, and until next time.